Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video created by Jessica from The Chic Professor and it's called Luxury Items That I Thought I Never Purchase or I Thought I Never Buy Tag. I was tagged by Jessica and I was also tagged by Catherine from KW Shops. Thank you ladies for tagging me and Jessica, good job for creating this tag. I really like this tag a lot. So like Catherine said, honestly, if we wanna be real, luxury items that I thought I'd never buy, probably like all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, the story behind how I started with luxury is a bit of a long one. I think it was about six or seven years ago and I honestly was more into fashion. I came from a fashion background with my mom and she taught me to be like frugal and save my money. And so once I got that first luxury bag, then the bug, the luxury bug just started and, uh, um, and here we are today. <laughs> so yes, let me get started with the first item, the luxury item that I thought I never purchased. And that item would be my Hermes belt in the Etope color, I believe, or is it Etain? I'll put it right here. It's like a grayish color. And then on the other side is like a black color. So it's double sided. And I also have it in the silver hardware. And now the reason why I thought I would never purchase this item is because first off, uh, I'm a fairly new Hermes lover. I wouldn't say necessarily lover, but I do enjoy the belt and I like a few of the other items. And uh, yeah, I'm new to that. So I started off with Louis Vuitton and then Chanel. And the reason why I didn't want to, well, I didn't think I was going to purchase it is also because I never really wore belts. So when I purchased my Gucci belt last year, I wore that to death and it was like so much and it was in gold hardware. So, um, I just never thought I would get this and the price is pretty hefty, but if you really think about it, um, it's double sided. You kind of get your use out of it with it being double sided. So this item I eventually purchased because I wanted silver hardware. I wanted silver hardware and I also wanted to kind of venture off the Gucci belt. And so now I have it and I don't wear it as often as I would like. So I'm definitely going to try to wear it more often. And yes guys, so this is the first item that I thought I never purchased. The next item I thought I would never purchase is my Chanel my Chanel Jumbo in caviar leather silver hardware, but I just never really thought I was going to get a Chanel Jumbo considering the price. I honestly, even now I'm still kind of like, really girl, you spent that much? And it is a very, very hefty price for this purse. And uh, still it's like, whoa, if you really think about it and put it to perspective, you're kind of like, ooh, girl, you crazy. Um, so I am very thankful that I did get this because this is a sentimental bag. When I was pregnant with Atlee two and a half years ago, we found out she had uh, kidney issues. And to make a long story short, she had to get surgery. And for that first year, I just was just so focused on her. It was a, a very trying time. So uh, yeah, we're getting better. And uh, so this was a gift to myself. And so a lot of sentimental reasons, but honestly, I just never thought I would fork that much money for uh, a jumbo and even like Chanel bags. So like six Chanel bags later, <laughs> I say that. But yeah, honestly, yeah, I just never thought this was just a hefty price. Maybe I saw myself getting it in the um, in the future, but uh, I'm just really thankful that I do have it and I'm so glad that I have it in my collection. The next item that I thought I would never purchase is the Fendi Peekaboo. Uh, like I was saying, I was a Louis Vuitton and Chanel lover and um, I just wanted to really stay loyal to those bags because I thought the quality was there and I really loved it. And then when I got this Fendi Peekaboo, I it was on my mind, but I just really, Fendi kind of just didn't really do it for me back then. And then when I purchased it last year, this bag, the mini peekaboo uh, from Luxury Next Season, I completely fell in love. This bag is so beautiful. Um, it's so quality. I love how it can fit so much. And I just never really thought I would Fendi into the, I would Fendi, I would venture off into the Fendi world. Um, but now I'm like getting more items and then I can't stop because I really love the Fendi Zucker print. And this bag just really started the addiction to Fendi. And I dare I dare say that this is probably one of my favorite, favorite 
bags in my collection. I love how much it fits. I love how classy, ladylike, and edgy it is at the same time. This is actually JT's uh, favorite bag out of all my bags. He just, yeah, I really love this bag. And um, peekaboos are quite pricey. Uh, for what they are, but I will say that I don't have any regrets with this and I'm really happy that I got it It's a really really gorgeous bag highly recommend. Okay, so the last two items are something I never still still to this day I still can't really put my really spend money on luxury shoes I don't know in my mind. I have this like perception that like my shoes are on the ground they're getting scuffed up and dirty and I just don't think that the long wear the longevity of the shoes lasts very long you know considering how much it costs so I still want like Gucci mules I still want Gucci sneakers Valentina's you know uh, more but I still can't validate it and I'm having a really hard time and so I've never really jumped on that train until um, a couple years back um, I don't know if you guys consider Sewer Wiseman luxury, but the items that I have are, you know, in the 600 plus range. So the first item that I got is called the uh, Sewer Wiseman Highland over, excuse me, Highway over the knee boots. They are leather in the front and in the back it's a stretchy material. They're over the knee boots quite a high heel and ever since I purchased this I got it because it was on sale but I just never thought I would spend like that much money on shoes these I'm okay with because they're boots and they uh, I don't wear them every day I believe leather boots are long-lasting so I do consider these you know something that I don't mind spending money on but just never thought I would spend money on shoes okay so after that I got the Highland shoes and it says they're the haze color they're like a they're suede and they are kind of like this grayish tan color and uh, i absolutely love these shoes they are um, gorgeous and i never thought i would purchase these again because of the price but now I have no regrets because I love wearing them with like sweater dresses, uh, jeans, and I just feel like these make like an outfit really cute. And uh, yeah, so I don't mind spending money on over the knee boots. I don't know about other shoes yet, but uh, I'll keep you posted. So yeah, I never thought I would buy these, these shoes or spend money on luxury shoes. And uh, these just turned out to be a really good buy for me and I'm completely happy with them. All right guys, so those are all the items that I can think of right now that I thought I would never purchase, the luxury items I thought I would never purchase. Um, what are some of the items that you thought you never purchased and you did? Leave them down below. And I would like to uh, tag a few ladies. I would like to tag D. Levine, Trendy Thread, Lizette Hartman, Tony Sidvalis, Joe Maurer, I tag you ladies, and if I didn't mention you, you know I still love you, and I do tag you guys as well. Do this video, because I really think it's very interesting, and I would love to watch your video as well. All right, guys, I will chat with you very soon. Bye!